Welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio. I'm the best Yugi tuber in my street, a very average player who uses this platform to trick you into thinking I'm good at and capable of playing Yu-Gi-Oh on any kind of level at all. Before we get started, why don't you hit subscribe for me, even if it's not because you secretly enjoy bad content, but because you pity me. I need every bit of help I can get. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Uh, if I sound a little bit funky, it's because I've got a, a shitty cold. <laughs> to be quite honest with you, uh, it's I don't have Coronas, don't worry. Or maybe I do, who knows? I don't think you can catch it through videos, so don't worry anyway. Uh, everyone at work is at home, uh, so I'm taking full advantage of the fact that there's like a handful of other people in the building. So if you do hear any banging about, that is probably them walking around. Um, taking advantage of that and recording in my lunchroom. Hopefully no one barges in and thinks I'm insane. The door's right here, so if they do, they're going to think I'm a real fucking nutter. But, oh well. So I want to talk to you guys today, uh, and you'll have seen potentially if you're subscribed to the channel, if you're not, you bloody well should be by now, um, that I've been looking at a few decks and how they're going to transition into the new Master Rule that's coming up, or by the time this is released, it may even be in place. Um, now, a lot of this is hypothetical because we kind of don't really have a format, even though we do. Kind of. Um, so obviously, organised play is pretty much off the cards, I think, across the entire game, uh, and that includes the OCG, to my knowledge. I think there's very, very few places that are actually able to play and keep locals open. We certainly don't have any here, and I'm not sure of any others in the more uh, immediate area of the continent of Europe, or even North America. Uh, there is also some discrepancies as well, because Europe isn't going to be getting uh, new... Uh, what's the one I'm looking for? Product! That one. The cold is talking for me. Um, we're getting new product uh, at different times, because North America looks like it's going to get it before we do. Uh, apparently, there's some issues getting a product out of Belgium. Uh, so who knows, that may be finished within the next couple of weeks or so, hopefully. And then we can at least keep up to date and keep some hype going about the game, because at the moment it feels kind of dead. Um, so with that in mind, I just wanted to talk some uh, the theoretical points of view for you. So let's talk about Chanel's. Well, Chanel's had a really strong finish to the format, last format. Um, obviously, being splashed with the Invoked Engine is just absolutely bonkers. Uh, no doubt about it. Master Rule 5 is going to benefit the fact that they can just turbo up fusions like there's no tomorrow. Also, the fact that because they're not locked into needing uh, link arrows at the top, they can actually use that potentially if they wanted to run the Chanel link, which allows them to have access to fusion effectively, uh, well, every turn, instead of needing one in hand. Although, you could probably argue that there's better things to put in there. It is a possibility of playing it. Um, the Chanel is also really cheap. So, if you wanted to play a more pure engine, running stuff like uh, the Calm Blade engine or you know any of the uh, Perform Edges and things like that, then you can run things like Hat Tricker, you can run Trick Clown, you can run, uh, what's his name, Damage Juggler, that's the one. Um, and all of those kind of things as well. There's going to be certainly some splashability, I think, into a lot of decks. Any decks that can kind of go second can make use of the engine. We see it get used in things like Dinos as well. Uh, even just a small package, a couple of Chanel's, um, plenty in the extra deck, and then of course the three Fusions. And it just allows you to have a good going second play. Um, so Master Rule 5 is a huge boost. The fact that the deck also didn't get hit in any way has also been a huge boost, of course. Uh, I always feel like Konami are pushing it, probably because they've still got the product on sale. So, it, you know, it makes sense. If you do see me looking down, by the way, guys, I've got a notebook here to try and help my foggy brain along with the thoughts. Um, so, like I say, it, it, it's one of those things where we're seeing a lot of... Um, we're, we're probably going to see a lot of experimentation with the deck as a whole, you know, as an engine as well as as a pure variant. Uh, Tekkenin cards that sort of benefit from being dumped into the grave. We saw it before with things like, you know, Brilliant Fusion. or In fact, any Fusion card that can dump stuff into the grave is usually going to be in a really good place. Um, we also didn't see Winder get hit, which a lot of the decks, it's fantastic how they do it. And, and you'll have seen it if you see any of the duels that I've played in or anyone else on this channel. When they go through their plays, they set up a window, stop the opponent playing. The next time they get rid of the window, go about all their plays, get another window back on board. And they just do this for like two, three turns, and eventually you run out of steam and they just grind you out. The fact that the deck also generates a ton of advantage and replaces itself is really, really cool as well. Um, I imagine for a lot of people who are new to the game, it can be a little bit challenging to get your head around which ones to go into and that kind of thing. But I think given enough time, most of it is, is pretty good. You've got so many different... Uh, inbuilt utilities actually which a lot of extra deck you know monsters don't necessarily have unless you're using a variety uh, so to have access to all of that and to not be locked into that one extra monster zone plus whatever arrows you can make is going to do the deck wonders and i honestly think we're going to potentially see it as one of the top contenders the question is by the time organized play comes back around who knows how long that will be will this format be over and we be in another one where they've actually hit stuff like winder 
I'm not really sure if they should because I don't really think that there's going to be any definitive results for the coming format. Um, but yeah, like I said, I do think the deck is going to see a lot of play. It's definitely going to see some experimentation, at least online, so people can get an idea of how they want to play it when it comes back. And of course, the invoked version is just absolutely wild. I do think, like I say, it will be a strong contender. Uh, and I don't think there's really much else to add other than that. I, I think just expect to see a lot of Shadol decks floating around. Even people just picking up three of the structure deck and going with that. It's a pretty insane structure deck. And uh, Konami have done a really good job with it. I think we should give them some credit for that. So thank you very much for checking in, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts about how you think Chanel is going to do uh, in the upcoming formats, we'll say, not just necessarily the next one. Uh, any decks that you think it can be splashed into that, that work really, really well, I'd love to hear about as well. If there's anything you think that I've said that's completely wrong, definitely tell me. Uh, and if there's anything you'd like to discuss, drop it down in the comments. I do check those out. I do try and reply to as many of those as possible. Thank you very much again for checking in, guys. Hopefully this video has been of some use for you, even though I've been waffling a little bit because of this foggy brain. Um, if if you haven't already please hit subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching hopefully you've enjoyed the garbage content i put together for you enough to hit subscribe and maybe even drop a thumbs up and a comment before you go be sure to check out the links in the description to help support the people who are making this channel a possibility thanks again for checking in and i'll see you in the next one